We just had a Q&A panel discussion with Dunderholm or Dunderhammer, and it went well. They're happy. Mongo, cheval, un problème avec les. Oh oh, la baguette! Vive la France! Tour de tour de Eiffel. Today is the last round of the Swedish Football League and as you saw in the last video in last month uh, my team Malmö already won but today it will be official as they play the last game. Malmö spelar mot Rosenberg. Marcus Rosenberg igen! Han gör 3-0 också! Ahead of the TubeCon event in Luleå, way up in the north, me and Sara Henrietta flew up there and met up with Jimmy Starr to visit two schools to talk about internet hate. We also got to see the venue two weeks before the event. Eight years since I sat in a room in Norway during the election between Obama and McCain and we are now four seconds away from the first polls closing of the 2016 election day. Here we go! Coming in very, very early. And Mr. Wolf Blitzer, my old person I talked to once. Uh, he's going to make projections, and here we go. No! Woo! No! Clinton's doing well in Florida and New North Carolina, so uh, it's looking not horrific. Boom! Boom! No! Well, it sure is looking a whole lot better now. Hillary Clinton wins New York. Yay! Things are looking really depressing. This is not looking good. No! No! It's not looking good. It's not looking good at all. Canada's immigration website just crashed. No! Yeah, it's it's almost almost all over. No! It's basically over. No! Why have they not called it yet? Put us out of our misery. No! Donald Trump wins the presidency. No! Like this, TV it's all over. A quarter to ten and I haven't slept at all last night and it's been snowing all, all night. It's really beautiful but uh, it's... Uh, I don't know, I'm just like mentally drained from what happened and the United States of America has elected someone who is anti-woman, who is anti-other religions, who is anti-other countries. And the thing is that, you know, kids, especially young boys, you know, will wake up to the fact that the leader, the future leader of their country is supposed to be a role model. And the future leader of the country, the president-elect, is now Donald J. Trump and and you just can't defend that I mean but I have to say thank you to the people on Twitter uh, for the support and the and the, I don't know I'm, I'm listening to Billy Joel's good night Saigon we will all go down together and uh, I'm just I mean, I'm wide awake, but my brain is just exhausted. <sighs> no bueno, America. No bueno. Plenty of trucks have gotten stuck down here on this uh, little path and trying to get out. Yeah. 
You can do it. You can do it. I can't do it. Uh, so I'm mentally preparing for tomorrow when I'm going to go into uh, the parliament and speak about social media and advertisement. That'll be interesting. Yeah. Clara Henry is a writer and is going to lead the Melody Festival. William Spets holds a whole own performance on Skala Theater. All this for that they once sat in front of the camera, completely unprepared, and started to film themselves. Så tänk på de här de helt vanliga människor som fick en publik. Gott snack. All right, so today I spoke in front of the committee for civil affairs at the Swedish Parliament about uh, marking uh, advertisement in social media. That was interesting. Yeah, I think I did pretty good. I'm proud of myself. Well done, Mark. Sail away, cross the water, set the pace, then discover every ocean. Forever and a day for you and me Det är bara till styret, det är allt så du kan ta med mig på den och dra igång den. Can we come out on some more? All right, that is it. Uh, the sixth stop of eight on this tour of Isby here on Gotland. Yeah. All right, we are in High Clint. High Clint! Uh, where there's supposed to be a view of some sort. Uh, we're gonna see the Rauks later. Uh, but first, we're gonna get some ourselves a view. The image is not mirrored. They are two different people. They just look the same. Isn't that weird? They look the same, but they aren't the same. We found a cave! Here at Lion Cliff. We were up there earlier. Up there, there. We're going on an adventure! When she gets there, she knows that the floors are all closed. Ooh, ooh. On this side of the road, we have the uh, Visby Nieden. It's a. We're gonna build a great wall, a tremendous wall, and Visby's gonna pay for it. Stranger things. So what I'm doing uh, starting uh, today on the Sunday is uh, a, a, um, a producing videos for the the uh, Global Week of the Church, uh, which is a like an activity that happens all around the country in different ways where they um, they talk about the environment and it's 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 a weird feeling to go from having all my youtube friends around and you're in the, the big city Visby and then they all leave on the ferry and and I go I put myself in a car and I drive south all the way out into well far away from things and, and I sit there and I get to listen to to music uh, in the church it's kind of, it's kind of spiritual actually so and uh, now the now I'm gonna drive back to Vispa to the hotel and the goal is to not hit a deer or a fox or anything else. Drive safe, Martin. And another fun fact is that tonight the moon is really close to Earth and it won't will not be as close to Earth again until like 2034. So big moon, but now unfortunately it's cloudy. It's uh, Wednesday and tomorrow evening I will be posting my 200th episode of 10 Swedish Words and I just filmed uh, the arc of what that video will be about but also you know looking back at, um, at you know a few years of making videos and I, I never thought I would get here and sitting there looking back at, at some of the old clips just made me really nostalgic and it's like wow 
I did some really cool stuff. So I'm going to continue to do good stuff. And uh, yeah, you should just watch the video where I talk about this. It. Number 200. I went up early yesterday morning. And I went to a breakfast meeting uh, with a lot of other bloggers and people. I went to work for a while and I took the train to Jönköping uh, where I went to a church and saw this musical um, performance about the environment. I went to bed at a hotel, I woke up really early, didn't have breakfast. I was called up by the radio and they asked me what I was doing there. And then, and then, <laughs> then I took a bus and a train to Jönköping, visited two churches, uh, watched a film and then hung out with a really good friend. So it's been a and then I went back to Stockholm. Woo! Okay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Say it. <laughs> That's my target audience. Uh, Martin. Martin Arub, the Swedish lad. Come on, boy. Give it to the camera. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Sunday. I am heading into town to go to uh, some form of gala tonight. Um, big bus awards, uh, which should be fun. Alright, the thing is over and we're not sure what actually happened. It was like a paella with weird ingredients and lectures and stuff. I see you have a big package there. I'm the winner for tonight. I got an Overwatch Pokemon. Yeah. He's got a big package. <laughs> <laughs> it is um, November 24th and tonight it's 25 years since Freddie Mercury passed away and on this night every year I I walk around and listen to Queen music, uh, and so I will also do that tonight. Always ending with a winter's tale. to the airport to fly to Luleå again, uh, this time for the event. Uh, Alright, all the people that took the bus uh, and the train are now arriving and we are hiding in an ambush over there. <laughs> With Ture Tubcon. I must break them. After the event, we went to this trampoline park. So 
so I just dropped off the um, uh, the rental car at the airport and I took a cab back almost all the way back to the hotel but I just wanted to pass over this bridge that we've been driving on this very narrow old bridge and look at on Lulu Elm. Look how beautiful this. It's amazing. Soon we're gonna get ourselves on a bus for a couple of hours and then on a train for a couple of hours and we'll be back in Stockholm tonight. So keep on walking Martin. The man bun sunshot. All right, it's Wednesday the 30th and I'm on my way to a Swedish state television uh, for a press conference of who is going to participate in the Swedish selection to the Eurovision Song Contest. Uh, fun to see some of my friends up there on stage. Uh, now I'm gonna head back to the office and edit the last parts of this uh, monthly video, which I know is long, but so many good stuff's happening. <sighs> November was an amazing month. I really felt that I grew as a person, got deeper into friendships and challenged myself to do things I had never done before. Even though these are dark times, I am filled with hope that through what we do and the love that we spread, there will be a time when we go towards brighter days again. Thank you for watching this video and for following my journey through this life that I live. Christmas is drawing near, and so are the adventures of December 2016. See you soon.